Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we're going to uh, change our print head for uh, T79, which is, uh, and the first thing you do, of course, is uh, to shut off the electricity when this one is move when this car uh, cartridge is moving. And next thing you do is uh, you want to remove this cover, which is totally useless. Uh, some people just yank it and uh, took it out, but uh, if you do that, you're going to leave a piece in there. Um, I'm going to show you how to remove this piece and take the cover off. So you just get a plier and get a hold of uh, that uh, uh, black plastic and just pull it towards your right. And you may get some help from the uh, screwdriver too. Okay, so you pull this piece out, and uh, the cover will come right off. Uh, this is important because later on you're going to move this piece. So some people still have this thing in it. They just rip this off. Uh, with this piece in it. If you do that, then later on you need to remove this piece so so this can be pulled out. Okay, the second step is to remove this board. I have one is already removed. And uh, so it, it goes down like this. What you can see is you get a tap here and get tap here. And uh, you don't need a you don't need to figure out figure out where's the tab. So uh, because this thing is uh, slide on a wall, and uh, you can see here this is this is the notch that holding the holding the uh, the tab. So if you just slide your screwdriver, so like slide in and twist it like this, it'll come off. So. I slide in, just put your square screwdriver towards the wall and just then squeeze. And then you'll use your thumb to lift lift the thing up. Okay, so I kind of like so this side is up, then we work on the other side. So once this whole thing is freed, uh, don't forget to put some gloves on. This thing, whole thing is freed. We need to uh, remove this uh, piece of plastic. And uh, just remind you again, if you still have this this guy in there, in there, okay, you have. If you have this guy in there, you can use your. Uh, a plier to bend this, but it's likely it's gonna break. Or oh, just like me, you just pull the whole thing out. And let's see, one tap is here, and one tap is here. Okay, and uh, remember the ribbon. See. See, there's a curve here. All the ribbons are sitting like this. Okay. So just remember this when you put it back. And uh, now we can disconnect this. Remember, for this one, the, the blue part is facing towards you. Now we're going to remove three screws. It's better to have a magnet, magnified screwdriver. So one is here. One is here.
if you're an insecure person like me, you like to label stuff and give this uh, labels. So this one is on the, uh, so what I do is I always make the label that's towards back and uh, this is the chip. And we got to print that out. So I'll say this is the print head. Print head. And this is the bottom. Bottom. Okay. That one is not the screw hole. It, I often get confused. It's the one here on the bottom. Now the chipboard. And often this chipboard uh, this assembly is really loose, so there are lots of time you put it in, and this gets knock off, and then uh, when you turn the printer on, uh, the printer just uh, just says there's no cartridge. Uh, if you turn the printer on and it says there's no cartridge, and you want to test whether it's uh, this cable is loose or uh, you have something going on with your uh, chipboard, what you do is. Uh, you can take your CIS out and put the original Epson cartridge in. Uh, you don't need to pull all of them, you can just put one or two of them, see if the printer can recognize it. If, if they are, so you don't have to take the print, out, out, uh, print head out again, so you can focus on troubleshooting the, uh, the, uh, the CIS chip. Okay, look good. And, uh, and another time is I do think if I always pull and they get disconnected, you might get or get a problem. So remember what we said earlier, and you need to put those things in here. Oh, I know how I got disconnected. So when you put this thing in, you probably just pull on this. So get a disconnect. Just to make sure it's still good. Yeah, it's still good. So now I got this piece. And now we put the dossiers in it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Cheers. There was a time not long ago when printer cartridges were so expensive. So expensive. And PCH came out to play. The quality cartridges saved the day. Oh, oh, oh.